So you are new to the government market and you want to win government contracts, right? Well, I'll make it very, very easy for you, okay? First, you can definitely win some government contracts, okay? I want you to understand that and you are literally one contract away, okay? So you're brand new. Step one, have a company, right? Credit LLC, have a legal entity. Step two, get registered in SAM.gov. The reason I want you to get registered in SAM.gov is because my mom was calling me, I'll call her back. But the reason I want you to get registered in SAM.gov is because if you register at the federal level, right? Now you can actually bid on contracts anywhere you want, either state, local, whatever, right? But remember, you don't have to get registered at the federal level to bid on state contracts. So, but I want you to be registered at the federal level. That way, if an opportunity to present itself at the federal level, you're already ready, okay? So just get it done with. It's like a little tedious process. Just get it done with, okay? Now, you have a company and you're fully registered to bid on government contracts at the federal and state level, right? What's next? Well, first, there's three ways to make money with government contracts. The first way is to be a contractor. As a contractor, you're providing your services directly to the government, okay? You provide construction, perfect. Provide that to the government directly. You provide IT services, perfect. Provide that to the government directly. You're a contractor, you're a prime contractor. Second way is to be a consultant. As a consultant, you help other businesses win government contracts, right? So let's say you have no idea what you wanna provide but you want to enter the construction space, right? You can find a construction company and help the construction company win the contract and then they pay you for you helping them, either percentage of the contract, a fee, whatever it is, how you negotiate that deal, that's on you. But as a consultant, you help the business win the contract, okay? And you leverage the resources because you have no resources because you're new. And the third way to make money is to be a reseller. As a reseller, you're reselling different products to the government, right? If the government needs, you know, janitorial supplies, ammunition, guns, you know, food, whatever it is, right? You find a vendor, you get a quote, add your profit on top, submit the bid. If you win the contract, you buy the products and resell to the government for a profit. So those are three ways to make money using government contracts, right? So now you're full, you have a business, you're fully registered to bid on contracts, and you're gonna do, let's say, all three of those, right? How do you actually win the government contract? It goes down to the four pillars that I created, okay? And by the way, I teach you all this in my university. I'm using a quick little video here to show you exactly what to do in a way that makes sense, it's easy to understand, you actually implement, okay? So you're registered, now you want to bid a government contract, right? The first pillar is, what do you want to offer and who buys it? If you're doing construction, do the research to find the agency that buys that particular service. You'll find is the Army Corps of Engineers at the federal level, right? Now, you, what's your offer and who buys it? The thing about government contracting is all the information is out there, right? Use fpds.gov to find out, you know, some historical data and who bought the products that you're trying to sell. Use USA Spending to do some research on your competitors, right? Overall, what's your offer and who buys it and do market research to validate that there's a market for whoever buys it. After you do that, step two, the second pillar is your pipeline. Where are you going to find these contracts at? Is it on the federal level, the state level, forecasted opportunities, expiring contracts? Find opportunities to keep your pipeline full, okay? You need more than one contract in your pipeline, okay? I don't want you bidding on one contract every single week. No, bid on two or three of them because you have a full pipeline of opportunities that you're constantly going after. The third pillar is your proposal writing process. You need a process to efficiently write these proposals, okay? This is a quick process that you can use. First, you read the RFP, right? After you read the RFP, the next step is to create an outline, right? You create an outline, then you create a compliance matrix. Your compliance matrix is essentially how you're gonna make sure you're compliant. They're gonna say, we want 30 pages, double space, no insurance, everything attached, right? Now have that on that list, and after you do it, check it off, okay? To make sure you're compliant. After you're compliant, you wanna start writing your solution. When you're writing your solution, you want to be solution-oriented, cost-effective, value-driven, risk-averse, persuasive, right? You want to talk about all those things in your proposal to really give them the bang for your buck, right? You want to literally write the best proposals, leveraging those different keywords that I just listed, right? To really make your proposal nice and strong, then you submit your bid, okay? After you submit the bid, you start winning opportunities. Then you go to the fourth pillar, which is LTAs, leveraging team and agreements. You want to leverage team and agreements to open you up to more opportunities, right? If you find a contract that's, you know, like, oh, it's a huge industrial building construction, right? And you only do a little bit of construction, not the big kind of construction. Well, find a teaming partner that does big construction and say, hey, let's team up. You win the contract, you hire me as a sub, 
and then we do a team in agreement, right? There you go. So essentially, those are your four pillars to actually go to government, win government counters consistently. First one, your packaging, what you offer and who buys it. The second one is your pipeline, right? Keep the contracts pumping in your, in your pipeline. Your third pillar is your proposal writing process. You need to propose the writing process to efficiently write these proposals, okay? And the last pillar is LTAs, leveraging teaming agreements. You want to find teaming partners to help you win bigger, more lucrative contracts. If you simply implement those four pillars, it's now rinse and repeat. You find out what your offer is, you find out who buys it, you find the contract, then you write the best proposals, you find a teaming partner, you win the contract, then you start over again. What's your offer, who buys it? right then the, you fill your pipeline you find the contracts you write the proposals you find a partner then you go back up here what's your offer you find the contract proposals and then do it again ltas that's it rent and repeat right so essentially there's two ways to make money contractors selling your own services to the government consultant helping somebody else sell their services reseller being a middle person between the government and the manufacturer now how do you win the contract first your, the first pillar is your packaging what's your offer and who buys it then you find the contracts Keep your pipeline full you find the best opportunities that align with your offer then you write the best proposals then you find the team and partners to help you scale your business with bigger opportunities then you rest and repeat okay hope this video made sense i have a whole bunch of other videos here that i can actually watch to learn more about it or get in GovCon university where i teach you step by step exactly how to go win government contracts and on top of that you get additional support with me in the university okay so definitely click the link below subscribe to the channel if you got some value leave a comment like the video share the video you know what to do thank you for your time and i will see you on the next